today's conversation is on cell phones and your right to privacy. Being stopped or arrested is a scary and confusing experience. Everything happens so quickly. Most people don't know their rights during an encounter with the police, and that can be very intimidating. I want to explain the rights you have in regards to your cell phone. Your cell phone contains photos, videos, contact information, sensitive documents, even a lot of the places you visit each day. You may not want to share that information with the police, especially knowing that all of it could be used against you. When you're arrested, it is not uncommon for an officer to ask you if they can look at your phone. And you have the right to say, no thank you, I respectfully decline. Sure, you can share it if you want, but the bottom line is you don't have to hand over the password or the fingerprint that opens your iPhone. The Supreme Court has ruled that police do not have the right to search your cell phone just because you're arrested. Searching a person's cell phone is considered a huge invasion of privacy, and the mere fact that you're arrested does not give the police enough reason to look through your digital life. So remember, if you're stopped and you don't want to share your private information, the police will have to obtain a warrant in order to search your phone. Hope these criminal law tips were helpful. See you next time.